Hi guys, I miss all of you. I can't wait to get back to where we're in our studio doing our classes. But in the meantime, I wanted to say hi. And I want, and I know here's how you're normal, normally used to see me, right? I have my hair down today. I'm in my kitchen and I'm making um, a, a green drink called an Alkagizer. And it's how I start my days normally. And I just wanted to show you how to make it in case it's something that you want to make at home. I just got home from the grocery store and the um, produce aisles are full and beautiful. And it's all the, you know, the other stuff that's taken taken up and everything, but um, but the the, uh, the produce aisles are full and you can certainly find everything that we're gonna use here today. So I've been making this for a while. It's a alkagizer, meaning that it's alkaline for your body. And so it, it helps with not having, um, not, not uh, so raising the pH and making your body more alkaline. It also, the geyser part is energizer. It's a great way to start your day, flood your body with great nutrition. And as a nutritionist, I, uh, I'm really, you know, um, all about that. So let's make it. Um, I've got my Vitamix here, but you can use any, any, um, uh, blender that you have. Just cut up, cut, you know, thankfully the Vitamix does a really good job, but I'm still going to cut up all my, um, my veggies here. Just start by putting the harder stuff, the kind of the firmer stuff in the bottom. So, um, so about three stalks of celery, about one uh, full, you can use a half, but I usually use a whole cucumber. So there's that. Um, I, I'm gonna put two, I'm gonna put a, two apples in today. I'm gonna put a red apple in, and also I'm gonna put a green apple in. Um, apples and bananas, any of the fruit is optional, but um, you can also use dates. I like to put fruit in because it gives it that little extra sweetness without adding, of course, any kind of sugar. Sorry, there's a label on that apple. Um, so I'm gonna put the apple in. Probably put the green apple in as well. So anyway, I don't know how you guys are doing, but I, again, I sure miss you guys. I miss um, not, not doing all the fun things we do at the center uh, with you, but we'll be back soon enough, hopefully, and we'll all be back to our normal life. In the meantime, enjoy this time that you have to make your alkagizer and make other things in your kitchen. This apple is really, really big and really fresh. And that's a good thing. So I kind of put, like I said, sort of my, um, my tougher ingredients, maybe I will say, down first. Whoops, that landed on the floor, it's okay. The dog will get it. Looks like a lot, but you'll see it all. Okay, so these are the tougher ingredients to start, like as far as the firmer ingredients. And then I'm gonna add some filtered water from my pitcher about halfway full maybe. And turn it on. So get those kind of blended up. There's still some room now on the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and add about this much of turmeric. Um, I just think that it's, why not? I mean, it's a great um, thing to add. And then I'm also gonna add a half of a banana. Again, gives it a little bit more sweetness. Certainly don't need to add it if you're, you know, if you're concerned about any level of sugar or natural sugars, but um, you can add half a banana in. And then I'm gonna add a, um, an avocado. Hopefully this is a good one. I don't know until you open it up, right? Yep, it's a good avocado. Just squeeze the avocado in. You can also use a half of this. Sometimes avocado and apple will make it a little bit um, frothy. So if you don't like that texture and you only wanna use one apple and one um, half of a avocado, you can certainly do that. 
just squeeze the avocado in. Turn on none of the outside. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and now put some, uh, I was gonna blend it, but I think I'll go ahead. And, so this is chard, this is red chard. You can use um, you can use kale, however, kale I think makes it a little bit bitter. Uh, you can use kale, you can use any kind of greens. Um, I like chard in it, it's a nice mild flavor. And then I'm gonna stuff in some baby spinach, organic. So I use, I use organic when I can, I'm gonna stuff in the spinach. I'm actually going to go ahead and blend it and then try to get the rest of the spinach in there too. at the top that don't quite get blended so I usually do two rounds putting a little adding a little bit more spinach and you can add water as needed too to make it the consistency that you want I kind of like them kind of thick so leaves no big deal here and you know what I'm gonna add just a little bit more water it's a little bit thick I'm taking it right up to the very top but it doesn't have a beautiful green color too it's that like spring green really pretty color <laughs> off here and let's let's drink so I do have um, a glass container that I'll put the extra in and it, it just it looks really nice in your free um, in your refrigerator and tastes so good again you're flooding your body with nutrients right the first thing in the day of course you can also have more than one glass of this in a day drink this up let's see how this tastes doesn't look good Mm, really, really good. So again, can't wait to see you guys. Can't wait to be back. Um, in the meantime, drink your Akajizer, get plenty of rest, and, um, and stay safe and well. Bye.